bring in one of the people who were vocal and against the decision to go ahead with the name that was recommended by the ANC leaders in the Metro, Nicole Graham. Nicole, you were saying that you rejected the uh, names that were brought forward by the mayor of the Kaunda on the allegations that there was political interference. Look, Nkosikona, we didn't necessarily reject the name specifically. What we rejected was the process. Mm. From a couple of weeks back, sources from inside the ANC itself leaked and said there was a deployment committee meeting that deliberated and decided on the name of a particular candidate. The interviews were still ongoing. And the name that then leaked is the same name that we were presented with on Monday as the supposedly the result of, of the independent panel. And what we've said is that the law is quite specific. The law says that there can't be any conflict of interests of panel members and that there cannot be any prejudice to applicants in the process. We are not satisfied as the Democratic Alliance that this has been a fair process uh, unencumbered by politics and that this process must now be restarted. The panel's report has been rejected and we want this process to be in the best interest of people in the city and a fair and, and just and lawful process. Well, the mayor is saying that the process was actually fair, uh, that there was no law that was broken and that in fact uh, the, the DA alongside other opposition political parties based their rejection of the process on rumours. Um, how fair is that articulation on his part? Well, I think the first thing is that perception is important. This idea that there was a deployment committee meeting that named a candidate, you know, didn't come to me in a dream one night. That information came from inside the ANC, that there was a specific person. But sorry, sorry, Nicole, he, the mayor did say that there was no deployment committee that specifically discussed the issue of city manager. Sure. Well, I don't believe the mayor. Let me put it like that. Um, we are submitting a PIA application because the State Capture Commission has been quite clear. The ANC can't have closed meetings and then call them private if they affect the businesses of, of municipalities or on, of, of public entities. So to put it quite simply, I don't believe the mayor. If the mayor um, at the end of the day is found to be right by the, the, the cause of time and by the information that's provided, then you know, so be it. But I think the history of the ANC in the city and the track record of, of, of being honest and being ethical is not one that we can trust. The, the, the wealth of information that was provided to us indicated that something was wrong. And it's not just the DA that thinks this. I think there were only two political parties out of uh, over 50 that actually sided with the ANC across, you know, very, very different political divides who said, we don't trust that this process has happened as, as it should. So the mayor can say what the mayor likes, you know, what, what the mayor wants to say. I don't believe that this is fair. I don't believe it's been lawful. We want it to be fair and lawful. We also want it to be more transparent. The ANC insisted on only having ANC representatives on that panel. Why? If they were following a lawful process, why would they have done that? Uh, I think that there are too many question marks for us to say, yes, you know, we understand and agree everything is above board. Uh, and I think the passage of time um, will perhaps indicate who's wrong and who's right. Nicole, what is the way forward then? Because clearly the ANC will never be able to install its preferred candidates without the support of uh, several opposition parties such as yours or the EFF or even the AP or uh, the Deputy Mayor's Party, the APC. But clearly you also will not be able to get your own way uh, with whoever you want without the support of the ANC or even other political parties. Um, what is then the way forward? Because the people of Fetegwini certainly do need a city manager uh, to occupy that role so that uh, service delivery is actually implemented. I think, I think your question is part of the problem or the phrasing of your question that, that, that we all have preferred candidates. Municipal managers are meant to be you know, professional public servants who act in the best interest of people in the city. And because of the way things have happened for the last time, even many years, it's just expected that there will be a political deployment. And I think that's the fundamental problem in and of itself. We don't have a per preferred political candidate as the DA. We want there to be a legitimate, lawful process. I think that's the first thing. The second thing is that this process must now be restarted. Uh, the law either says the panel's recommendations are accepted or they're not. They haven't been. 
So this process must now be restarted. We are very clear, um, and this is not just my view, it's the view of other opposition leaders in the city, that we don't just want that panel to be the ANC's panel. We want a voice from that panel, and we want insight into that panel. So that process must now be restarted, and I think it's critical that there be a more open and transparent process, um, because the law allows for it. You know, the ANC deliberately made that as small, as closed as possible. The law allows for a much bigger panel, and that is what we want. So I think this has been a difficult lesson for the ANC. It's a lesson that we are happy to keep on teaching. But also, we want to get on with business. You know, we want the city to run. Um, the city is facing a budget process now. Yeah. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place here in, in the municipality. Things are collapsing at a rapid rate. And what we need to do is put the people's interests first. We need professional, capable public servants, not deployees or not people who are beholden to the politics. So this thing needs to be restarted. Um, we don't have a preferred candidate. You know, I don't have something against an individual. We want the process and the law to be upheld, and that's the way forward for us.